Hey there, uh, this is part two where thankfully Cedric has caught up with Waddles. Waddles' tractor has broken down in part one and Cedric is saving him. He has luckily a light inextensible piece of rope with him, as, as we all do at all times. And the piece of rope is light, means it has no mass itself. That would affect things otherwise. And inextensible means it does not stretch, which would also affect things. So, we need to know the acceleration of the, the system, the Cedric and Waddles combination, um, so that they can work out how fast they can get home, because they've heard there's a bad cat around, and they need to quickly get home. And they also need to know the tension in the rope, because Cedric's a little bit worried that the rope will snap if there's too much strain on it. Now, because they are connected particles, we can treat them as a whole system, as effectively one particle. And if we do, F equals MA for the whole system, then um, we effectively don't include the tension. So F equals MA, the whole system, we have the driving force of Cedric, 80 newtons, minus the resistance to his motion of 10, minus the resistance to Waddle's motion, there should be an arrow here, um, of 5 newtons. So that's the resultant forces acting on the system. We ignore the tensions because we're treating it as a whole system, and that is equal to the total mass of the system multiplied by its acceleration. So if we work all this out, then we get doing that and dividing by 3, we get the acceleration of 21.67 metres per second. That's like a rocket. Well done, Cedric. OK, so that's the acceleration of the system. Now we need the tension in the rope. So with connected particles, remember there are the two different ways you look at things. You can do F equals MA for the whole system, and you can also do F equals MA for each individual uh, particle or object within that system. We're going to just use waddles because, um, well, you could use either, but we're going to use waddles. I think there's one less force acting on him if we use waddles, so it doesn't really make too much difference. But um, a good method is to use the F equals MA for both, and then you should be able to check your answers. Anyway, F equals MA for waddles. We've got this tension as an arrow disappeared from there. Um, tension acting this way, effectively pulling waddles forward. We have the 5 newtons acting against the motion, so the resultant force acting on waddles and his tractor is T minus 5. And all of that's equal to his mass, which is 1 kilogram, multiplied by his acceleration, which we've just found. So using all of that, we get that the tension is 20. 6.67 newtons and we also reveal the arrows that were covered up so um, they've worked all that out and that all looks pretty good so let's see what happens to them in part three